The mother of seven-year-old Olivia Gant pleaded not guilty today to charges in the girl's death. CBS4's Rick Salinger is at Children's Hospital in Aurora where Olivia was treated. Rick, two questions. Do we have a trial date? And with all the publicity surrounding the case, do you think it might be tough to seat a jury? Well, Jim, the trial is now set for May the 3rd, and it's supposed to last about three weeks. It'll be a long one. Due to all the publicity, they're going to call a large number of prospective jurors, 150 in all, for this most unusual case. I want to battle with Batman. The plea for Kelly so Turner was not guilty in a case that has seen national attention. She faces 13 counts, including murder, child abuse, theft, charitable fraud, attempting to influence a public servant, and forgery. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The mother is accused of claiming that her daughter had a terminal illness and took part in several fundraising efforts. Another princess is in trouble as well. That included a party hosted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation thrown for Olivia. She was able to carry out her dream of playing Bat Princess. This isn't Kelly Turner's first brush with the law. We've obtained her criminal records from Texas. They show she was arrested in 1998 for aggravated sexual assault on a child. She plea bargained the case to felony injury to a child and served several years in prison. She also had convictions for impersonation of an emergency medical technician, forgery, and more. Turner appeared in court today from jail by a video link. She was wearing a COVID mask and an orange jail jumpsuit. She did not speak during the hearing. It's suspected she may have had Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That's where you fake someone's illness in order to gain sympathy for yourself. Live in Aurora, Rick Selinger covering Colorado First.